Hello everyone, Melissa here. It's Welcome. me, Mario Time. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Um, Paul, Will, and I it's me, um, Mario. went to the Dollar Tree today and we spent um, $52. So uh, we have quite a few bags. And um, mm. I'm going to start off and go through what Paul and I got. And then I'll turn it over to Will, okay? And then he can tell you. Okay. First bag, I got some of these <coughs> Penny Sticks brand, the skinny um, pretzel sticks. I love these. I got those. That's a repurchase. I always go there and buy those. Uh, this is another repurchase. Uh, penny sticks, the butter uh, braids. I like these. These are really good. Repurchase. <clears throat> Picked up some dry roasted nuts. These are um, not bad at all. I picked some of these up one day because I didn't uh, eat lunch and I thought, well, I need something that's not, you know, a bunch of carbs. So. I got this and they were not bad at all. Got some Andy Caps cheddar fries. I really, really like these. I got six bags of the um, vanilla flavor. Um, iced, extra iced it says, um, animal crackers. I think I'll really like these. Um, I'm hoping I will anyway, because this next product is the bomb. These are so freaking good. You get six of these Pampa brand. Um, this is brand Grace, so I don't know. Um, this is six packages as well. Three of the chocolate chip right here and um, three of the honey. These are awesome. Really, really good. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find them again, so I was super excited when I found them. There's a lot of food in this. Okay. Got. Look at all these combo cereals. <laughs> two um, five packs. Uh, it's called Golden Pack Cereals. Cocoa Balls, Fruit Rings, Sugar Flakes, Apple Bites, and Toast. Uh, honey Nut Toasted Oats. My husband really, really likes cereal, so I told him he should get him some of these. Because you can't beat this. These are only 20 cents a piece since you get five. <clears throat> Got another bag of the Andy Caps Cheddar Fries. And this is another repurchase. I love this. Um, one pound bag of candy. These are the fruit chews. They have cherry, apple, tropical, watermelon, strawberry, and orange. <clears throat> cherry and orange are my ultimate favorite, but the tropical is really, really good too. My least favorite is the apple. So that's what I got in that bag. Okay. See my shirt? Not today, Satan. <laughs> Got that in the men's department at Walmart. Okay. I said I was super excited. So in this bag, there are three more of the mini Teddy cookies, the chocolate chip and the honey. Another bag of the cheddar fries. These are honey roasted peanuts. 
the final bag of cheddar fries by Andy Caps, I think. And my husband really, really likes these um, butter rings, so he chose those. That's Little Dutch Made is the brand of those. I, like I said, I'm the one that picked four or five of these for my um, snack stash. Because they are yummy. Really, really good. I mean, I was really pleasantly surprised how well they are. How good. And six for a dollar packs, you can't beat it. Okay. I have this bag and two more of my stuff. Paul got the Frosted Mini Spooners by Malta Meal. Um, fudge striped shortbread cookies. It just says oven baked. Okay, I'm going to hold off on what's in there and finish with the food. Like I said, there is a whole bunch of food. Golden Puffs Malto Meal. Cinnamon Toasters. You know, you can't beat this for a dollar because you can't get um, cereal at any other store for a buck. These are 10 ounce boxes. Well, this one is, this is a, they're the same box, but I guess they go by weight, so. Another bag of the fruit chews. I really, really like these. Like I said, um, my husband got another little Dutch made product, iced oatmeal cookies. Yeah, most of this is food. Okay. I wanted to try these out. Uh, by Lance, there's five packs of salted peanuts. Because this is not bad at all uh, for me to have as a snack. Um, this is Paul's. I got one and he got one. The Animal Crackers Vanilla Flavor that are um, extra iced. Um, Paul got another little Dutch made almond windmill cookies. And then this is my... Um, honey roasted nuts. Uh, I originally picked up the dry roasted and Paul didn't want those and I saw that he had these. I said, where did you get the honey roasted nuts? And uh, he showed me so I picked up one of each for myself. Okay. Now, the rest of the stuff in here is not food. So we had most of our stuff was food. Because we, um, my, um, I have a llama tote. It's adorable. I have to show it to you. Um, I'm going to make a video where I show you stuff that I've bought off of Facebook Marketplace and at the Goodwill store and at um, other type of stores like that. Um, I'm going to make that. But anyhow, so I bought this adorable from Goodwill. It's a bin about this big, and it's plastic, and it has llamas all over it. I think I only paid like $5 for it. It was worth every penny. So that's my snack, what I keep my snacks in, and it was totally empty. Okay, so I am running through ink pens really, really bad because I told you, um, you know, I like to have the colored ink when I work on my puzzle books, well, I'm going through them very, very rapidly. Um, I'm not sure if there's just not as much, as much ink in these as, like, say, a Bic or whatever, but I would much rather have these I because see. I really enjoy um, the colored ink. So if, if I have to buy more ink pens <laughs> because they don't last as long, that's totally fine with me. So... These have eight um, colored pins, so I got two of those. I thought.
thought these were really, really neat. This is um, Dual Fix. These are dual tipped markers. Two colors in one. It's a 3D effect. Perfect for doodling. I got these to color with. So this one... Um, see this right here? Right there. Each pin is two colors. So I thought that was pretty cool. I got those two colors. These two colors. <laughs> right? It's so bizarre trying to figure this out because you're doing it different. Those two and these two. So has anyone else seen these? I think that's going to be really neat <coughs> to... Um, do my um, coloring books. There's the ones. And you can see what um, those are the two colors. Okay? So I've got a total of six of those. I absolutely love llamas. And my husband actually found this for me. I'm always on the lookout for, um, for llama stuff. So he saw this. It's a pin slash stylo um, black ink which I'm okay with that um, llamas are my spirit animal and it has like a fortune or something right up in here okay so I thought that was really really cute so I'm happy he found that this is so cool I can't believe that I found this at the Dollar Tree. Um, with this pandemic going on, um, I um, saw this, I don't know, just a random video. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's flipping cool. And never in the world would I think huh? I would find this um, at the store, at a Dollar Tree. Royal Deluxe Accessories from New York, New York. It's called a No Touch Key. It's a keychain, and you use this on doors, bathroom doors, you know, any kind of a door. You see how it shows you the picture there? And you, with the pandemic and the germs and stuff, you don't have to get your hands dirty. So your key gets dirty. I got the one that's clear with um, red hearts. They had animal prints, different types of animal prints. Um, I'm not sure if they had like solid colors. I only uh, had a very few seconds to make a snap decision to, you know, that I was not going to leave this behind. This was right by the register when I was checking out. So I am super excited to find that. I want to go back and see if they have any uh, that aren't geared towards women so I can get maybe uh, one for my dad and, you know, a couple other for some other people. Look how bad I'm sweating. So has anyone else seen these? Super cool. And I'm going to go ahead and... See, it's um, decorated on both sides with the hearts. It's totally clear. You use this to open your door so you don't have to touch it. And it's a keychain. Super psyched. <laughs> Maybe we'll get our picture from that. All right, and the last item I have, I need to keep a notebook in my purse because, you know, I'm always, when I go to the bank, I always need to write a note. Finn just walked by. Um, and it's like, oh my gosh, i got to find a scrap of paper. So Jot had these uh, spiral notebook, 60 sheets. It is so pretty. See, it's um, metallic. It has gold leaf, it almost looks like. 
and it's purples and pinks and it's got that band goes like this and it's just uh, unlined paper perfect for uh, to keep in your purse perfect size to take notes so I loved it they had um, I don't know maybe three or four different colors and I chose this one they had a real pretty one that had like blues and purples but I'm a pink and purple gal so I got that okay that is all of mine and Paul's items um, I'm gonna turn it over to Will so you can see what he got okay hey buddy you go ahead and I'll help pass the bags to you <sighs> to see you again. <laughs> Look at what Will's wearing. He got that for Christmas. Super Mario bag. <laughs> okay, there's your first bag. Skinny pop popcorn. And that's a repurchase for you, isn't lunch. it? Yep. Yep, he likes that. Saltery cracker. Okay, salting crackers. Mm. Fago orange soda. Guess I'm gonna die in a drawing of Friday Coca Cola.
actually Diet two. Pepsi Cola for the liter. It's one point two five liter actually. Speedway Dr Pepper for a workout. Yeah, Daddy got that for Will. Okay, that came from Speedway. That drink. And a liter for Dr Pepper. Okay, that is everything from our Dollar Tree haul. Our um, payday paycheck <laughs> store. We um, had a lot of fun. Like I said. Most of my uh, haul was food because uh, we needed to buy snacks. So, and uh, we found some snacks we really liked, so we wanted to repurchase them. Okay, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like. And if you haven't yet and you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Thanks ago. You was our name, Mario Brothers. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.